Well, I'm out here with another mower today. And guess what? It's another Honda mower. I've been flooded with Honda mowers this year so far, and that's great. People are hanging on to them and, uh, and getting them fixed. After all, um, they are not making or at least distributing in the U.S. anymore. I think you can still get them in, in Europe, maybe. I might be mistaken, but anyway, uh, here in the U.S., um, no more Honda mowers. All the, uh, the parts are still available and everything, so... Uh, yeah, so just take them out and get them fixed. They're still great mowers, you know. So, well, this guy brought his over, and I've already started to dug into it and uh, decided I ought to film it because it's uh, it has to do with his with the rear wheel drive. And he said he was mowing along. All of a sudden, he heard a bam, and just nothing. Now it won't uh, won't go forward. Um, so I started, uh, I already took the rear wheels off. I wanted to see if it was that, uh, well, before I even start rambling here, let me show you what's going on. Get on with it. Yeah, so you can see here, I'd already taken the wheels off and have this on its side. And I wanted to see if that little uh, gear, here it is. I wanted to see if this gear and uh, the little key was broken or something um, and it wasn't and you can see where that key fits in here there's a little spring in there if you can see that and that that fits in and when you hear that ratcheting did you see the uh you can see the that pattern there so when when it's in there and the key um, is compressed down you can see how it, when it's rotating around, pop, pop, and you hear that uh, that popping noise. Let me show you on this one. Yeah, you hear that? That's when that key, when it's rolling along in that groove and it pops because it's spring-loaded, right? And when it starts to move forward, um, that's when the key catches on the flat end on this, and that's what drives the wheel, right? Well, on this one, let me show you. I wanted to see if that, uh, if that was the problem, the, the key or the spring or something. Some, sometimes the spring and the key gets mangled, and it... Uh, it just jams in there but in this case no it's that it's just not turning from the gearbox here so uh that's why i decided you know i ought to film this and show everybody uh i wanted to show you how that worked you know with the with the key in there and why you hear the popping uh usually that has been the problem right but now with this one you can see the axle is not turning at all so i started to take off this plastic hub here i wanted to take this off so i have uh, access to the to the gearbox and the pulley up on the front i want to be able to reach in there and see if i can start to turn that um, but right now i'm just taking this plastic piece off you can see the screws here there's here and don't forget about the these the square washers here. They get inserted in. And there. And I think there's two on the rear. Here's one here. And there's one way back there that's hard to get. Um, yeah. A screw here and here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this off. And uh, I want to be able to reach in here and see if I can play around with this gearbox, maybe even open it up and uh, and see if there's anything jammed in there that we can fix before just uh, before buying another one. But I hope it didn't come to that, but let's get started. All right, so let's finish getting all this off. Wow. 
Well, it looks like I'm gonna take the blade off. That thing's a tight squeeze in there, isn't it? Probably sharpen these while I have them off. Oh, they're not bad, huh? I'm still sharpening. Still sharpen them. At least that now that bottom piece needs it. The top one is pretty darn sharp. So he must have a pretty mild yard, if you know what I mean. There we go. So where is Okay, that's still in there. I wanna make sure that was, didn't drop in there somewhere. This is the one that's really hard to reach up here, back in the back, so. Yeah, the sucker is jammed. is jammed. I think it's the belt. Let me uh, show you what I'm looking at. So I was going to try to rotate the belt. I didn't think it was anything wrong with it because it was all loose and everything. But right here at the top, you can see where it's on that outer ring. So I think that's just jamming the whole thing. And I'm going to see if I can... Uh, squeeze that back into the pulley can you see that so this might be an easy job after all huh maybe maybe not let's see so Now it's turning. Wasn't that something? So it was just the uh, the belt was hung up on the on the pulley. It was on the edge of the pulley in that bracket. So, well, all right. <laughs> well, that was it. All I got to do now is put it all together. So it ended up being pretty easy. Um, the trick is troubleshooting it, right? You can see how I just took off the wheels and I just took off one side to make sure it wasn't one of the, the ratcheting pieces here. Um, could never get it to turn, so I took that shroud off so that I can see if I could turn the pulley on this side, you know, instead of the axle here. And sure enough, there it is. You know, otherwise it could have been a, a, a bad belt. Um, but usually if it's a bad belt, you know, you, you, it, it would have frayed already or um, it would have cracked and off it, off it goes. Um, worst case, it could have been uh, this whole unit, you know. I mean, it could be anything in there. You just go step by step uh, until you found the, find the fault. And, uh, and on top of that, once you find it, you, you kind of want to find the root cause, right? Well, why did it do that? And if you ask me, I think this belt is starting to get brittle. It's, it's kind of hard. And uh, so it just got hung up really, really easy. Um, but I'll see what he says. Maybe he'll want me to uh, go ahead and change the, the belt while it's out. And... Uh, but everything else on this thing is in great shape, so 
I'll see if he wants me to change this, then I'll just get the old tune up, you know, just give him a oil change and uh, air filter and spark plug and all that good stuff because the mower is actually pretty nice, right? So, well, I guess that's it. So, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch my next video.